got into this a bit in my book where I'm challenging um, the kind of like marriage promoters who talk about uh, the connection between people not being married and, and poverty, right? So this kind of assumption that like if you're not married, well we saw, we've seen it on the campaign trail where you know you have um, uh, President Obama or candidate Obama talking about like the perils of single parenting and how these kids are growing up in poor homes and all the kind of things that, that go along with that. Um, but I'm really curious in the fact that in, in countries like, you know, a lot of Northern European countries that do have paid parental leave, universal health care, universal child care, um, a, a single mom is no more likely to be poor than a married mom. You know, a single mom and her child are no more likely to be poor than a married mom, and that's because they actually have government support, and there isn't this assumption that, like, somehow marriage creates a middle-class existence, and, you know, um, that if we just push people to get married, then we don't have to, like, think the government can kind of shirk its responsibilities because the husband becomes the provider or whatever, these backwards ideas, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think all the things that have been mentioned as, as policy interventions would be great, and I appreciate the kind of reminder that our job as storytellers is to, if not call for those things outright, then to kind of plant the seed so that people feel a greater sense of empathy and, and start to see what other people's lives might be like, even if it's not their own experience. Thank you so much.